All right, guys, yesterday we uh, focused on simplifying rationals. Now we're going to multiply and divide them. And uh, multiplying and dividing, oh, I didn't get an S on the end of there. Oh, that's nice. Let's see if I can make this happen. So multiplying and dividing rationals. Uh, let's change that up a little bit. bigger there we go now it's gonna look a little odd because of the size but that's okay I'm a little odd it happens all right multiplying and dividing rationals same thing as, as simplifying rationals except now that we're gonna have and um, we're gonna be comparing two different ones for example uh, this is example number one out of the book page 692 let's take uh, r squared r squared x over 9t cubed. Now we're going to multiply it by another rational. And all we have to remember is when we're looking at rationals, we can cancel top and bottom, and we can cancel diagonally. So let's go ahead and take a look at the numbers first. I've got a 3 on top and a 9 on bottom. So that's going to cancel into 1 over 3. So over here I'm going to have my 1 over 3. Okay. Now let's look at, um, let's go ahead and go from left to right. I've got r squared on the top. I've got r on the bottom. So that single r changes that into a single R. I have one X on the top, but nothing else on the bottom. So I'm going to leave that X. And then I have T to the fourth on the top and T to the third on the bottom. So three is going to cancel into there and leave me with one of those. So I'm going to end up with one RXT or if I put that in alphabetical order, that's just going to be R, T, X over 3. Again, you could put the 1 out in front of there. I'm just simplifying a little bit. Um, not going to be highly concerned with the order of the letters. I just like to put them in alphabetical order out of personal preference. So R, T, X over 3. Okay, let's get to one that we might have to do some, some factoring for. Okay, I went ahead and found one that was division as well. That way we could uh, take care of the division aspect. And this can be our last, uh, last, assign last assignment, last problem on the cast. When we divide fractions, we never actually divide. We end up in the end multiplying by the reciprocal of the second one. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and factor these and then flip the second one. So y minus 3 is just y minus 3. Now I'm going to factor y squared minus 10y plus 16. I've got a little hint over on the other side. When I flip that y minus 8, um, I will bet that there's going to be a y minus 8 in here. So let's look at that. That's going to be y minus 8 and uh, y minus 2. Negative 8 times negative 2 is positive 16. Negative 8 plus negative 2 is negative 10. So that factors my trinomial. Now I switch my division to multiplication, and I flip my second fraction. So now I have a y minus 8 on top, and y squared minus 9, we need to recognize that as a difference of two perfect squares. So that's going to be two parentheses, and y minus 3, excuse me, y plus 3, y minus 3. I like my positives first. So now we have... Uh, two ratios and uh, two fractions start canceling things that are on top and bottom that are the same. I see a y minus 3 and a y minus 3. I see a y minus 8 and a y minus 8. So everything cancels on the top, but remember it doesn't cancel to 0. It cancels to 1. So I'm left with 1 over y minus 2 
times y plus 3. And there's nothing left on top to cancel, so I am done. So what we have to focus on today is looking to make sure that everything is factored completely. You might be looking at some distributed property factoring, some trinomial factoring, some difference of two squares factoring, uh, some common factors being take that, taken out. And once you've done that, just start canceling things on top and bottom that will eliminate each other. All right, about five and a half minutes, not too bad. We'll see you guys in the morning.